Hey guys, so today is going to be my Ipsy unbagging and I know this is kind of late into September to be unbagging my September Ipsy, but I just got it, which is so weird because I normally get it pretty on time and this month I just happened to receive it late. So typically, like I have a couple of Ipsy bags that I didn't show you guys, specifically I think July and August. I don't know if I showed you June, June or not. I was kind of eh about those bags and I was really, really considering canceling my Ipsy. It's only $10 a month, but honestly I have so much makeup and my, my uh, samples just pile and pile and pile. So I was really considering canceling it, but the reason I wanted to show you guys this uh, Ipsy and bagging is because I sorry my eyebrow itches of all places <laughs> but it's because I, I love this bag not necessarily the bag but everything I got in it which I thought was random because most of the time I only like maybe one or two items out of the five or six that you get but I liked everything except one so I thought I would share it with you guys um it came with a little card it says face fashion by Ipsy that girl on the cover is very beautiful I don't know who she is the bag is kind of like a long rectangle it's a goldish more of like a reddish coppery gold and it has like some texture on the front it's nice I like it I like the fact that it kind of could be used as like a pencil case because it is long enough to fit um, pins oh it fits the Statler pins awesome so that's kind of cool so you could use it as like a pencil case or something it doesn't have to be used for makeup um, but I'm so excited about the items that I received so I got five things total the first thing is this ipsy for NYX palette and then when you open it it is three neutral shadows it's like a sparkly champagne color um, a medium brown shimmer color and it looks like a matte either chocolate or black maybe it's black let me do a couple swatches so when you swatch them they swatch beautifully on your fingers but then when you go to um, swatch them on your hand they're a little lackluster I'd say this is more of like a like a chocolatey deep black brown um, but they're very pretty colors, they're just, the swatches aren't really what I would consider up to par. But then again, NYX is kind of hit or miss. Some of their shadows are really nice and some of them aren't that bad. But I will give this a shot and a shot, <laughs> I will give this a shot and let you guys know what I think. Next thing I'm really excited about because I was at Sephora a couple weeks back with Stephanie and I saw this that it was new and I really really wanted to try it but I was like eh, I'm not trying it for $69 it's the glam glow flash mud which is a brightening treatment um, it says apply to dry face and circular motions to pre exfoliate leave on for 20 minutes wash off with water use um, sunscreen to help maintain results so apparently it's just like supposed to brighten up your complexion maybe get rid of any hyperpigmentation that you have I don't know it doesn't claim that I'm just assuming but it's the orange one and this is a really good size sample it's definitely a few uses probably three or four and I absolutely love glam glow so I'm really really excited to try this and I'm happy that I got to try it in my ipsy bag instead of spending $69 on it this was the product that I was kind of like, eh, I mean, it's okay. It's called the Phoenix When You Need to Rise from the Ashes Yet Again. It's a hand and body lotion. I'm not, like, a huge fan of little travel hand and body lotions, I guess. If I'm desperate, I'll use it. But I much prefer to use, like, a Bath and Body Works or something. It smells nice. It's very, it's supposed to be persimmon and plum. It doesn't have a bad smell, so I don't know, maybe I'll give it a try and kind of see or take it like when I need a travel body um, and hand lotion or anything like that. We'll see. This next thing, I've got one of these before received. I've received one of these before in my Ipsy. It's a Formula X nail polish, and um, this one I thought was a really, really pretty color for fall. Let's see, does it have a color? Ignite. And it's like a deep burgundy red purple-ish color. The other color that I got from... Um, Formula X was a power source, which is like a really pretty, I don't know, salmon-y color. So you can see it's the exact same size bottle and everything, just in a darker, deeper color for fall. I love that. I mean, you guys can tell I don't need any more nail polishes. In fact, this is the only rack of nail polishes that I have. I used to have two. Um, but whenever I get small nail polishes, I don't mind because they don't take up a lot of room on the rack. And I can kind of try more colors out for less space pretty much and then the last thing I got I've never tried but I'm excited to try it it's the balms put a lid on it eyelid primer and it's just a little baby sample but I mean to be honest I 
don't go through these anyway and it has a seal on it so I'm not going to open it um, but I don't go through these very quickly anyway because I typically will use any type of primer it really doesn't matter um, so I'm excited to try this though because I have good heard good things about it okay guys so I know that was a really quick video compared to a lot of my other videos but I wanted to show you guys really quickly what I got from my ipsy bag for September I was really excited about it and it kind of swayed me not to cancel and maybe give ipsy a couple more months try the last couple months like I said I just haven't been super impressed and I didn't feel like it was going to be worth keeping the bag but maybe this time I will I don't know so if you guys got something different in your September ipsy bag let me know in the comments down below I'd love to hear it don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one bye